the El Clasico of Noro. You get disqualified if you're at all. I mean... Please don't. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't disqualify, but I, I would definitely consider that like a top out or something. <laughs> All right, let me fix names real quick. Um, Sky versus Sultan. I have to swap out this Twitch stream. Rotate the O in this tournament? I mean, you can't rotate the O. I mean, you can make the rotation sound happen. But I'm not checking, so. Alright, so Sky is ready. Um, Sultan said, good luck. Which means, yes, he's ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, Tetris. As they said, the El Clasico of Noro. These are... I think these are generally considered to be the two best Noro players. I think. I don't know. They, they probably wouldn't admit it themselves, but... Well, Sky definitely wouldn't admit it herself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it should be interesting. So, both starting out clean stack. Well, I mean, Sky's much less clean than uh, Zoltan's was. Guy is at four lines so far. Sultan at gonna go up to five with those clears. That is not where I would have put that bar. But it makes a lot of sense actually. That makes a three way. Huh. Clever. Zoltan going for this uh, LT solve. If you can get a T piece, that resolves cleanly. We saw this setup earlier where he had this, and then he just never got that T piece, but we'll see if he gets it this time. It'd be really nice if he did. Ah, come on, game. I want to see it. Yes, there we go. Nice. Great clear down for Zoltan there. Um, so they're both at 11 lines. Um, Sky has gone up another couple of rows from before, and actually, with, with those couple placements, that is actually going to put her significantly higher on the board at the moment. Um, and wow, yeah, things not working out for Sky right now. That has quickly gone from a board that didn't look that bad to so one that wow it does not seem like there's that many lines left to clear Zoltan meanwhile in the lead at 16 still basically at the bottom of the of the board only two rows are dead for Zoltan right now and I think that is going to be the end of Sky at uh, 16 lines that is going to give the 1-0 lead to Zoltan. 
misread the board. Oh, unfortunate. This is a really good game for Zoltan, so I, I wouldn't care if he wanted to mull in it, but I don't know what, what counts as a good game for him. I would watch. So clean. <laughs> I, I, I just saw that adjustment too, that's cool. Starting to look just a little bit less peachy here, but still good. The highest score we've seen so far today was Sky's 41 lines during qualifying. And uh, second highest would be the 37 that Zoltan got. So first mark to beat is his own best for today. And then second mark to beat is Sky. And then from there, I mean, I think world record's like 80 lines. So I don't know if we're going to see that. There we go, that is a tie for his best score. It's only se it's 72? I, I swear I saw a video that was like, world record, 80 lines. Huh. No, I, I'm much more likely to be being incorrect here than you are, Sky. <laughs> wow, those are nice burns. Beautiful. Maybe Beta Tetris? I don't know. Although I think Beta Tetris got like a hundred or something. So definitely taking the top score of the day already. 46. Can we see the level 5? That's the next mark. And then after that, could we see the level 6? Who knows? for a Z to tuck there. Oh, wait, I guess just use the T? Okay. We are running out of room to be picking and choosing, right? So. And that is gonna be the end of the game at 51 lines, wow. Incredible game from Zoltan, which is apparently his 60th 50 plus game. Okay. Literally Sky's PB. Wow. Um, that was the first game, right? I think I already put in the score for that. Hi, Huffle. <laughs> hey, man. 
How you doing? Was that the first game? I'm gonna scroll up and make sure that I didn't count off more than one game. Yeah, that was the first game. Okay. Hey, Hook, how are you doing? What, were you just streaming regular Tetris? Restart the timer. I, I gotta. I got Alright. Um, Sky is ready for the next game. So we are waiting on Zoltan, who is also ready. Three, two, one, Tetris. Oh, I have to restart the timer again. There we go, that was two restarts. And nothing has been redeemed. All right. Uh, coming back from watching Zoltan score 50 lines without rotating pieces. How do you follow that up? That was a lot. Numa Ultra Microscopic... Numa... Numa... Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcanoconiosis. There we go. There's a guy who did a presentation at my elementary school who was like, who like taught us to say that word. <laughs> Not that I like remember much about it, but I remember he was like, you gotta break it down and you can do anything if you break it down into small parts, which you know, not bad advice. Pretty good advice actually. He did a thing where he, he, he like said, said the word immediately, and then he like broke it down into like different things. So all I remember, the only part that I remember is that for volcano, he put like his arms over his head into into like a triangle to like remember that it there's a volcano in it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Zoltan at 11 lines, Sky at 8 lines. By the way, I'm glad you survived the orange choking incident, Hapta. I hate choking on things, it sucks. Thirteen lines for Sky, fifteen lines for Zoltan. Uh, oh my! Wait, holy crap! That's there's like a lot of bad pieces on Sky's board. I think <laughs> that right side is such a mess. Um, not able to clear that uh, line down there, and I think oh she is going to get a ceiling clear. Uh, not gonna get the Z piece for that one, but that is going to be a top out at 16 lines, and Zoltan is already good at 19. So that is gonna make the score 0 to 2. GG Zoltan. <laughs> Zoltan's girlfriend is rooting for Sky. <laughs> Man, how are you gonna have your girlfriend not even root for you? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. So, 2 0 lead for Zoltan. In a good position. But who knows? We could see the sky comeback of the century. Was thrown down 30s earlier, so she can do it again. Let's see. Both ready. Three, two, one, Tetris.
All right. Uh, this is the start of a Noro game that looks like the start of a Noro game. If you showed me this board, I'd be like, yep, they're playing Noro. Tetris challenge, can you pick which board is no row and which board is not no row? <laughs> There's like no no row boards that actually look like a regular game board. Or maybe if you like pick really bad boards from a normal game. <laughs> Opening PC. <laughs> I mean, that's just trolling. But a tournament where the goal is to get Tetris ready in as few pieces as possible. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like what even would be the strategy for that. And like, how would you grade it? I feel like most of those games would be ties at like 11 or 12 pieces. Also be very luck based. This guy at eight lines um, has already lost access to the bottom chunk of the board here, so. But similar for Zoltan, Zoltan also has a lot of difficult uh, stuff on his board that probably isn't going to downstack too well. Um, so Sky's got to keep fighting here. A tournament where the bar only comes every 20 pieces. I don't remember ever saying that, um, but that's not a bad idea. This guy's going to top out at 13 lines, um, and Zoltan is going to have to chase that down. Currently at 12, just needs one, well, two more actually, because of push down. And it's going to get it with that long bar. GG's. 14, 15 lines, that is the win for Zoltan, BRC. Congratulations. The bar only comes every 20 pieces. I, like that's, I like that. I think that's really cool actually, where it, it comes at an exact interval. Um, and you have to be ready for it every time. I, I really like that. Also, the triples would really come into play there, because, like, y your tetrises are pretty limited if it's once every 20 pieces. Sky, you did fine. That was a great performance. That's consistent 10, 15... Like, all of your games were 15 lines, basically, which is pretty good. Nobody else in this tournament put up that much, <laughs> so, besides Zoltan. So, GG's.